All right, guys, today on Short Side Wristers, we are going to discuss cards to target right now, ones to sell, and the ones that I went after and sold myself. I'm no sleeves 12. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so since there was literally no content really today, uh, no new comp season, like, let's just take a moment. Uh, I need to express my uh, my distaste with EA over this last few weeks of content Team of the year is team of the year, but it should be the most hyped time of the year. It shouldn't just be, okay, here's the best cards, is that it? There's no team of the year comp season. I don't know how difficult it is to make one, but like I get that there's the GWC going on, but not everyone wants to play the GWC or Hut Champs. They want to play comp seasons where they can maybe, you know, top 100, top 150, 200, maybe get a team of the year item, something like that. Like I, It's just it's super frustrating to me. Um, that that it's like that, and then the comp season that we just had was ultimate team pack or ultimate packs, which is just a joke. They're they're literally a meme. Um, so that that's a little disappointing. I will say that we got a 95 John Tavares for the four goals last night. The 95 Stamkos. Uh, the rest we got a Marner, Zach Hyman, UC Saros, and Jace Hour look. None of them really matter, but the John Tavares and Steven Stamkos. Um, again, this is nothing new, guys. There's there's team of the years and and uh, Evos out that are better than them, so sell these guys immediately. You're probably not going to get too, too much. Uh, we also got the 90 overall Ben Bishop. I have a feeling we're going to get this in a second that it's going to be super obsolete when it comes to Ben Bishops. Uh, and then it, we got the Buffalo playoff predictor, Sam Reinhardt and Rasmus just a line and nothing special there. So uh, let's, uh, let's discuss some cards to target currently. So just from my observation over the last few weeks, I've been super involved with the high-end cards. Um, I want to have an all-99 team, okay? So today, recently, uh, I picked up the 99 Patrick Kane as well as the Morgan Riley. I don't really like the Morgan Riley card, to be honest with you, but the 2 to BU um, is kind of advantageous. Plus, he's pretty big, um, so it's not terrible. I just think that there are better defensemen, well, I mean forwards, to be honest with you, uh, for that position. But I need that 2 to BU because, unfortunately, the high-end cards, uh, a lot of them don't have BU, uh, specifically like the Mar the Team of the Year Marner. And then most of the Evos, uh, the McKinnon, the Point, for example, those don't have it. Either it is the Kane. Uh, or Crosby. So uh, BU is kind of tough to come by. Now, I get all this question asked a lot. Uh, you have a 99 overall team. Why do you need BU? I, guys, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. Um, but when I take BU off this team, I can feel it. it might be just be in my head, but I can 100% feel it. So let's get into the cards that uh, you should target. If you're watching this today, I'm going to go over the cards you want to target today because if we're going off of the previous releases, Wednesday is when Team of the Year comes out. Now, if we look at the community team of the year, the voting, if you want, haven't watched my last video, go check that out. It shows you who uh, I voted for and, and what that's all about. It says hold on to it till Wednesday at 6 p.m., and that's how your votes counted. So I got to assume that they're not going to wait till 6 p.m., which isn't when stuff's released, and then immediately send out the cards uh, for, for that community team of the year because the full team is coming out. So I'm going to assume that the vote is taking place until, um, until the Wednesday. And then this week, we're going to get the... European or the world sorry the world team of the year so this last week uh, we got the uh, North American team of the year this uh, this week it's going to be I have a feeling it's going to be the Kucherov the Ovechkin the Panarin it looks like Hedman those kinds of guys it's going to be all the rest that didn't get it this week uh, that being said what happens is all of the Team of the Years and Evos are as cheap as they're going to be tonight. What happens is, once these cards, these Team of the Year cards are out of packs, they're super expensive. For example, uh, McDavid, I'll use, he got down to about a million, uh, just under even, last week. Then he went out of packs after the Young Guns were removed from packs, and now he's 1.3, 1.4. Um, so expect that with Crosby, Brent Burns specifically. Brent Burns is under a million. Um, he is one I would love to grab. I just don't have the coins for him, unfortunately. Uh, but he is one that I would definitely grab if you're saving up a million coins. So if you... If you're saving coins, I wouldn't save them for tomorrow because you're buying cards, the newer Team of the Year cards, unless you really want that Ovechkin, although I, to afford that, you're going to have to sell Wayne or Mario. Um, but if you want one of them, I understand, but if you're, if you're, you know, you're not, you know, made of money, you're not going to be ripping packs, I would spend, and you have a mill, 100% buy that Brent Burns, because even if you don't use them, you could sell them for the 950k you can get them for right now, uh, immediately, basically tomorrow night probably when he's out of packs for like 1.4. He's one of the most expensive cards right now. He is someone I would look at. Also, the Patrick Kane, 
super popular card. One of the best I've used all season long was the Master Set Kane, the Thanksgiving one. I'm super excited to try out this 99 I got. I got his Evo um, because I had about a mil, and I was able to get the Team of the Year Riley uh, to get the two to be you, and then I had enough to get the Evo Patrick Kane. So if you can get the Team of the Year one, even better, but... Those cards won't be able to be pulled anymore. Patrick Kane's one of the most popular hot cards basically of all time. So uh, if you can pick him up tonight, he's going for around 600k, which in my opinion is a steal. Uh, Crosby as well. Anything under a mil, you got to realize, guys, they're not going to get any higher. Uh, team of the year um, matches whatever the highest card is. So if you're looking at Mark Shifley, for example, any of the ones that aren't 99, remember that if they're going into the playoffs, they have a chance to increase. So... The ones that aren't going into the playoffs, don't worry about them. Like, for example, the 96 Jack Eichel. I would kind of pass unless you're a big Buffalo fan. He's he's going to be a 96 no matter what. Um, but Mark Shifley can can go up higher. They they do increase. They do count uh, for Evos and Team of the Year. So um, Austin Matthews, I wouldn't go after his Team of the Year personally. His Evo is has BU, um, and, uh, and it's around 600K right now isn't bad at all he's more than likely i would suspect he's gonna get a 99 i mean if he gets knocked in the first round maybe then he's not gonna have enough chances to but um just something to keep in mind guys playoff predictor cards as well it's gonna get really dicey right now jonathan Druan and kotkin yemi are the 98s for the montreal canadians and going into thursday that's the biggest game of the season because Montreal plays Columbus, and when that happens, that's basically going to decide. I mean, they both play tonight. Montreal plays uh, at home versus Florida. Columbus plays at home versus the Islanders. Let's say they both win. Whoever wins that game uh, on Thursday going into Friday is going to be um, the 98 overall. And in my opinion, whoever wins that game is probably going to make the playoffs. Because if, 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 um, if Montreal wins, they're four points up. If Columbus wins, they're... They're back to even, um, but it's just a hunch of mine, I think, that going into so that Thursday night game, I would watch it, and I would watch the market during it. If you know Columbus gets up 3 nothing in the first period or late in the second, I would sell my Duran almost immediately or my Kotkin Yemi. Make your coins back. Uh, don't necessarily have to buy the Boone Jenny or anything, but like just that's just something to keep in mind. In the West, not much of a competition right now. I mean... Um, it's it, Dallas pretty much locked in, hundred percent going to be the wild card. So the Essa Lindell, if you if you have him, that's going to be the the ninety eight, no matter what. Basically, Colorado. I said this weeks ago. I thought they were going to be the team to make it, and sure enough, they're in right now, two points up on Arizona and Minnesota. Minnesota's played 77 games. Um, Minnesota's done, in my opinion. I said that, too, after the trade deadline. Even though they went on a little run, they're done. You can get rid of the Zucker and all them. Hold on. Arizona, man, I would love to see Arizona in the playoffs. Plus, I love Galchenyuk, but I think he can sell on them. Um, Colorado and Dallas look to be locked in as your wild card spots. So other cards that I would recommend targeting now going into the next team of the week. Like I said, Morgan Riley offers a little bit interesting. Because he's decent sized, his shot, his slap shot, because I honestly, my honest opinion is it goes speed, then slap shot. Those are the only stats I care about for defensemen. That's why I put a lot of forwards on D. 90 accuracy, 96 power. Now, again, that's amazing. But for a 99, you would expect a little bit more. Uh, but he has two to be you. And like I said, a lot of the new high end team of the year cards that you're going to go after that aren't like McDavid don't have BU. Plus, if you're using the free legends that you get monthly, they don't have BU a lot either. So um, I would recommend grabbing him. Before he's out of packs, because he's probably going to go up in price. That is uh, something. Now, the last thing I want to say here. Community Team of the Year, boys. Everyone, all of the Evos, I would invest in. So, Barry, um, for Giroux. If you see them for a decent, like Giroux at 350k, half decent, pretty much guaranteed a 99, in my opinion. Spezza, I think that we're going to get him. I didn't vote for him because I'm just sick of Spezza, but I think that we're going to get that Spezza. That's a free 99, maybe, or 97, or 96, in my opinion. It's probably going to be the lower end one, that is, is what they would do with that Spezza, but... Um, other than that, the last one you really want to pay attention to, there's no way that the community team of the year goalie isn't Ben Bishop. He's the probably the, the gold bar standard goalie other than Pekka Rene in Hut for the last like four years. If you have a 95 Bishop 
and maybe let's say you've qualified for GWC or you don't really care about it and you just want a good goalie, I would sell the 95 Ben Bishop. He still goes for a stupid price um, and then wait for that 99 to come out. He's uh, whatever rating the 99 Bishop is, or the Bishop is, that's the best card. He's the biggest, he combines the best skill and size. And uh, like I said in my, my earliest podcast, uh, when I spoke to a developer, you know that is the most important. There is a there is a benefit for a bigger goalie. They make incidental contact saves that smaller goalies just won't make. Rip Andy Moog. So he would be one I would recommend selling going into Community Team of the Year, guys. So those are my market tips right now. Um, if you want any other info, shoot me a message on Twitter at No Sleeves Gaming or come say on my chat. Ask me the question there. 7 p.m. to 10:30 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday to Friday on twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12 thank you guys for watching the video or listening on spotify and uh thank you for the subscriptions and likes guys i really appreciate it. you have a good one